My name is Kisto Lucero, and I'm an education specialist for the National FFA Organization. My specific job um, as an ed specialist is to work with the content on a couple of different programs and make sure that they're educationally sound for our students. So I manage the National Officer selection process at convention and then I also work with the Washington Leadership Conference. I was an, an FFA member all through through high school and pretty reluctantly so in the beginning. I, I joined FFA as a way to show pigs. That led me to um, my passion for agriculture, specifically in FFA. I was definitely, you always hear about the shy kid in the corner. Uh, whenever I was a freshman, that was definitely me. And FFA gave me the tools and skills necessary to express who I was as an individual and, and learn to find my voice. Being able to learn to find my voice, express who I was, and be okay with who I was, that's the biggest thing that FFA did for me. On top of that, FFA taught me to be well organized. It taught me to be um, impeccable with my word as well. A typical day really depends on the time of year. For example, now in December is, is a great kind of look into what my day to day is because all of my programs are, are coming together at once right now. Uh, we're doing facilitation training with the National FFA officers that were just elected and so it's, it was a lot of preparation in, in what do they need, what skills do they need to be really great facilitators out on the road. With that, I'm hiring right now for WLC uh, for next summer. So a typical day it, for me right now is reviewing submission facilitation videos and then scheduling interview, interviews for people. I went to New Mexico State University uh, where I got a bachelor's degree in agriculture and extension education and a minor in communications. Some things that would have been beneficial, definitely some more finance stuff. Uh, I was never great at math, and I never thought that I would need math. I, you know, just wasn't for me. How to budget and how to um, look at finances and how just like the real world works would have been so helpful. I do have a piece of advice for anyone who's making that transition from college to what we call the real world, and it's just to be unapologetically yourself. Um, we need you as an individual, not some different version of you that you think um, a corporate office or a nonprofit office or anything else needs. We um, really just need authentic people in positions more than ever today.